Hey guys, it's Bubs. Uh, so I just filmed a, not filmed, I just uploaded a vlog video not long ago and I just wanted to make like a, like a follow-up video for that. Uh, before I start, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, Bubs, you do not need to explain yourself. Hear me out. It's not even just that. I just feel like a lot of people could maybe relate with what I'm saying and I hope it speaks to you guys as well. So in the, in the previous vlog I uploaded earlier, um, basically I, I was in LA and it was wonderful by the way, but um, I was ready to go home where, when I suddenly got a phone call um, just telling me about a wonderful opportunity, but it meant I had to stay for another 8 days. So yes, in the video I was quite teary and I was like, oh I don't know what to do. Yes, I was pretty emotional in the vlog video, but can't a girl cry? You know, it's okay to cry, you know, crying's good for you. Sometimes you just have to release your emotions. And it wasn't that I was ungrateful. Um, some people were like, grow up, bubs, there's people with way worse problems. It was not a problem, it was a great opportunity and I was super grateful for that. I think I was just overwhelmed because I was so exhausted. I mean, it was my fault because I asked to fit as much, you know, work in that week. I was in LA as much as possible. So I was getting, you know, between one hour or between one to two hours sleep every day, which clearly wasn't enough. So I wasn't functioning properly. I mean, beginning of the week, I was, you know, let's do this. But towards the end, I started to get really tired. And usually I'm quite well put together, but you take away my sleep and I become bumpsilla. You do not want to be close to me when I'm exhausted. Ask Tim. But I was not sleepy. I was mentally and physically exhausted. Um, so a lot of you guys are going to ask, Bubs, what is the opportunity? Unfortunately, I cannot say, uh, but uh, all I can say is um, it's a pretty big opportunity. It will give pretty good exposure. As you guys know, um, I decided to decline it and I decided to fly home instead. Um, there's two reasons I decided to go home. Um, number one is uh, only a couple days before that, Tim told me that she needed to get surgery. So I wanted to be there for her when she woke up because it's quite an invasive surgery. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for your prayers. She's uh, recovering pretty well. I mean, it's gonna take about three months for full recovery, but she should be like up in no time in just, you know, a few weeks. Second reason was, um, you know, if I really wanted to do something, I know I would make my way to get there. I mean, if I was shot like 10 times, but Lee Min Ho was in Hong Kong, I would find my way to go see him. Um, so at the end of the day, I just really asked myself like, do I really want to do this? Would it mean a lot to me? Would it make me happy? And even though it seems great on paper, you know, great opportunity, at the end of the day, you know, just because it's an opportunity doesn't mean it's for everybody. And I know a lot of people could relate to this, you know. Um, people could be pressured to do something because it seemed like the right thing to do or just because it was a great opportunity. It's not because I was scared to move out of my comfort zone. I encourage everybody to move out of their comfort zone to be who they want to be. I only realized this when I was in LA, but um, I realized that as a person, I, I've changed. I'm not the person I used to be two years ago. I mean, maybe a few years ago, I would have jumped at the opportunity to do this, but now I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a time of my life where I no longer just want to think about myself. I mean, I have friends who are excelling really well in life, um, in YouTube, whatever it is, and I'm proud of them, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm so excited for them, but it just turns out that you know, this just happens not to be the top priority of my life. I don't want to be super rich. I don't want to be in the big screen. I just want to be able to make a difference. And I want to be able to reach out. I want to be able to serve others. I'm not totally sure what I'm talking about yet, but hopefully you guys get to drift. I just want to do something in life that gives me meaning now I end. I don't want to live life just totally focus on myself. Um, I think I was most miserable in life when I was most self-centered. I really do believe the more you give, the more you'll get back. And it's not even about money, you know, there's nothing wrong with being able to be successful. Uh, my problem was, um, you know, being stuck in the, the trap of falling in love with money. And I think definitely being in LA, a lot of things came clear to me. Um, I mean, it's quite sad. I got to meet some people who are just lovely people, but just really struggling in the, you know, whole LA type of world. And LA is a good place to be in, but it just depends what industry you're in. And, you know, it really broke my heart to see 
that some people are just, you know, so lost and there's nothing that I could do about it. Um, so it made me feel really lucky that I realized, you know, what really does matter in life and uh, I just I just felt so grateful. Tim and I would definitely spoke about uh, doing volunteer work, uh, you know, going to countries that are, you know, in need of help. So like if you guys have any information about that, we would love to like to receive help because we don't know where to start with this. Uh, yeah, but we just want to do something that brings like the best in us, guys. Trust your instincts. Just because something seems, you know, amazing on paper, you know, impressive, doesn't mean it's something that's going to be good for you. It's, it's kind of funny. Sometimes I get people saying, so and so has you know, achieve this in her career, so and so has achieved this. What have you achieved? And I'm like, eh. I mean, I am happy for these people and I genuinely am. It just happens that I'm just happy with the way things are in my life. I I like living in Hong Kong. I like being able to do what I do. I mean, it's all been very, very new and I admit that I'm quite a selfish person. I think a lot about myself and you know, now I'm starting to feel compassion for other people and it's a whole like it's just the feeling so weird but it's so good and I really feel like the Holy Spirit has just really you know take over my body and I don't know what's going to happen in the future but you know I know that I'm going to be fine and it's going to be amazing so you know I'm not making this video so you guys are like oh bubs you're such a good person or you're so inspiring or you're a good role model I want you guys to question yourself are you bringing the best out of yourself doing what you're doing and if that answer is no, then I want you to ask yourself, what can you do to change this? I can see why a lot of you guys would be like, you know, Bubs, you're, you're so dumb, you know, I, I would jump at the chance of travel here, you know, experience this, live some life, you know, live vi vicariously, vicariously. I don't know how to pronounce the word. So much more to life than living luxuriously. Sure, like traveling is fun, getting able to do this, being able to buy that, but in the end of the day, it all runs out and people just have to find other forms of happiness. You pay for what you get. Today I just suddenly feel this surge of energy uh, within me and you know, I just want to let you guys know, like people ask me, Bubs, how do you remain this and that? And my answer is, well, by Jesus, I would be lost. I feel like he suddenly changed the course of my life and I don't really know where I'm going, honestly. But I know I'm going to be okay and I have a lot of faith and if anything, I know my life is going to be even better. So yeah, that's everything guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. I really do hope that you guys and everything you do, you do it out of meaning. So I'm going to do things a lot differently now and I know my next opportunity is going to be amazing because it's going to mean more to me than I can ever imagine.